Senator Marco Rubio of Florida joining us from Milwaukee. Senator, you've had three strong debates. Do you think this was your best? Well, I don't know. I mean, I never view them that way. It's not an athletic competition or a cage match. It's an opportunity to talk to the American people. In that instance, it's about national security. That's the most important thing the federal government does. It's the reason why we have a federal government. We don't have a federal government to do K through 12 education and Common Core. We have a federal government whose primary obligation is to keep us safe, and that means secure our borders and build up our military so we can confront and defeat any adversary. So, where'd you get the trillion? Where are you going to get the trillion dollars for, from that Rand Paul says we shouldn't be spending? First of all, before we fund anything, the federal government should be fully funding national security. It is the most important obligation of the federal government. And without it, none of these other things matter. You can't grow your economy if you're under duress. You can't grow your economy if you're sucked into wars because of weakness. And you can't grow your economy if your people aren't safe because they're coming under terrorist attack. So before we fund anything, we should fully fund defense. And then with the money that's left over, we can decide what the proper role of the federal government is. But the one thing only the federal government can do, and the reason why we have a federal government, is to provide for the national security. Common defense. Where are we lacking? Are we lacking in the Navy? Are we lacking with foot soldiers in the Army? Do we need more Marines? In, where where in, do you see it? In everything. Let me tell you what's happening under President Barack Obama. We are on pace to have the oldest and the smallest Air Force and Navy in a generation. We are reducing 40,000 positions in our Army. The Chinese are practicing how to shoot down our satellites. We have no answer for it. Uh, they hack into our computers through cyber warfare. We have no answer for it. We are lacking in every component, and we're not doing research and development to confront the challenges that are around the corner that lie ahead in the years to come. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about immigration. I watched Governor Kasich and Donald Trump, as well as Jeb Bush weigh in. They differ when it comes to immigration, what we're going to do with the 14 million, the millions that are here already, says we cannot deport them all. Donald Trump says we can. What does Marco Rubio say? I say we're starting that argument the wrong way. The first step has to be bringing illegal immigration under control. You know, the lesson of 2013 when I was involved in a bill in the Senate, the lesson I learned from that is the people of the United States do not trust the federal government on immigration. And you're going to have to prove to them that illegal immigration is under control, that the numbers have been brought down substantially. That means not just passing a border security law, but actually doing it and right. proving it to them. And once you do that, the second step is to modernize our legal immigration system so that it's merit-based. And after you've done those two things, then we will realistically but responsibly deal with the people that are here illegally. If you're a criminal, you'll be deported. If you're not a criminal and have been here longer than 10 years, you have to learn English, right. you have to start paying taxes, you're going to have to pay a fine, and, and you get a work permit. And that's all you're going to have for at least 10 years. Right. I believe that's the only way forward, but it begins by enforcing right. our immigration laws. It was really refreshing to hear everybody tell uh, their different tax plans. And you, you stood out because you talked about a family tax plan and a, a deduction. Can you expand on that? Yeah, it's a child tax credit. It is expensive to raise children in the 21st century for working families. And under my plan, I'm going to allow every family to keep $2,500 of their own money to help with the cost of raising children, child care, saving for college, buying clothes. I mean, I'm raising four kids now. You know, every month that goes by, they outgrow this, the new shoes, whatever, a new backpack. Uh, the cost of raising children is expensive. And if we don't strengthen the family, we can't have a strong country. The family is the most important institution in all of society. And the other great word, if you have a family of four, is called hand-me-down, Senator. You don't have to get new stuff for everybody. We'll go over that in the break. <laughs> all right. Well, <laughs> the, the problem is I have two girls and two boys. The girls are older. Uh, it's hard to pass that clothes down. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to need some uh, extended family help. Now I want to talk about something else. Welding. You said we need welders, that welders get paid more than philosophers. We're getting too many people with philosophy degrees. Here is your tweet. The Google Trends searches for welding classes are spiking 1,300%. Do you happen to be behind the welders today? Well, look, that's an great. It's not just welders, machinists, airplane mechanics, car technicians. These are good paying jobs. For the life of me, I don't know why we stop teaching Americans to do that kind of work, to work with their hands. These are good paying jobs. We can be teaching kids to do that when they're 16 or 17 years of age. Right. And there's a shortage of people. You go around the country, as I do, to these manufacturing facilities, they can't find qualified workers. We should be training more young Americans to, right. to take on vocational careers, good paying jobs. Plato would have been so much more successful if he just welded and stopped yapping about his philosophy. Senator, well, <laughs> if you can find a welder, if you can find a philosopher that can weld, that's pretty good. That's great. <laughs> Senator, I'm off to do, uh, to do some research. Senator Marco Rubio, thanks so much. The day after. Thank you. All right.